Hello again, everybody. It's Harry Box of the Technical Trader. It's Wednesday, September the 21st. These are the charts of the day. Today, we're going to once again focus on the box of shorts, some of them, some of the uh, swing trade short picks, and also um, some of the uh, uh, stocks that appear to be vulnerable. But uh, more importantly, today was a very decisive day. In my opinion, we cracked, especially late in the day after the FOMC meeting, and we could be headed lower from here for, now, for a few days anyway, so stay tuned. Starting off with the ultra shorts, this is going to be a review of some of the ultra shorts that we follow. FAZ today exploded for 14% or 807 from below of that, just under 57 to over 66 and a half, and closed right near the high for the day, 65.60. Um, pennies off the high. You notice that there is a series of highs, uh, session highs right in there. So if we break out and gap up tomorrow when we're trading higher in the aftermarket, you can very well see this stock in the 72, 74 range as early as tomorrow morning. ERY, the energy ultra short, also popped and took out a big pattern here. And it is also up against this lateral resistance level right in there. Any further upside here, we could easily see 21 and a half, my short-term target. Beyond that, maybe a test of the highs in the 24.5 zone. TZA popped late in the day, broke out across the declining top line, and uh, maybe on its way up towards testing the 54 zone, and then perhaps even 59.60. TBIX, stellar. Let's take a quick look at something here. There you go. The uh, stock had that big run up, flag, run up, flag, then broke out again, pulled back. But this is fairly orderly in here, fairly low volume. Held the moving average and lateral price support right here, and popped today for 636 or 10 three quarter percent, 32 million shares. No, excuse me, 3.2 million that is. And the stock at this point appears headed for 85.90 in that zone. I would not be surprised to see that in the next couple of days. BGZ popped but didn't quite break out like the others. It's worth keeping an eye on though. If it does continue higher, my targets are 46 and a half and then 51. FXP, the China ultra short exploding here through key overhead resistance after it had already taken out this lateral declining tops line last week and then pulled back to test the moving average and that line, then snapped back, broke out, and today was the decisive day, up 8.73% or 318 on um, 593,000 shares, but looks to me headed now into the mid-40s. The VXX similar to TBIX and looking the same, at this point it appears headed for a 50-52 short term. SCO, the other ultra short oil, um, in a nice rising channel, breaking out here perhaps, looking for a target around 63, followed by 70, 71. Those are your targets for SCO. Now, some of the gold and silver ETFs are acting interestingly here. Notice the wedge is forming on the GLL. Must break to the upside. A roll over here could continue to downtrend, but we'll see. Same with the DZZ here. ZSL, also near the top of the declining channel here and lateral price resistance there, forming a wedge. A breakout here could spike this up to 15, 15 and a quarter very quickly. And that's a quick review of some of the boxes charts that we're following. So it's definitely an ugly picture for the market if these are looking that good, that's for sure. Now some of the boxes charts we want to go over. Um, we're starting off with SMG, which we recently recommend as a short. That certainly has rolled over. It was down $1.74, almost 4% today. Um, and the volume was 758,000 shares, but at this point it appears it could be falling away to retest the lows around 40, 41, now, uh, and that may happen very quickly. If that cracks, we can see it down around 37. FOSL, another short recommendation, which was grudgingly holding up here, um, still held up today by being up 61 cents today, although that did close $3 off the high. If it cracks here, this one can start falling away. Let's first get it through the 87, 88 area. That's my first target. Right across these lows here. And beneath that, a retest of the lows down around 70. Could be a big hit. Domtar UFS, the beautiful rising channel with a one, two, three, four, five way move right to resistance. Rolled over the last couple of days today, it accelerated down 289 or 3.7%. Its volume increased to 739,000 shares, but this looks like it broke this line today. And if that's the case, we could see a retest of the 67 to 70 zone very quickly. WTW Weight Watchers, 
All you have to do is wait and watch. The stock dropped another 241 or 4.22% today. Um, volume was 660,000 shares, but this whole pattern is in jeopardy here. We could roll over hard and fast and reach down towards the 47.8 zone, perhaps. Lastly, for today's open table, this stock just looks horrible. It continues to go lower. There's a short recommendation of ours in the mid to high 60s a month and a half ago. Here it is at 48. Although it is at the bottom of the channel, it's very well it may spike down and see something in the mid to low 40s short term. That's it for tonight. Ugly picture out there. Be careful. Bye-bye.